And welcome everyone to an America East chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Anthony Lamb from Vermont. And the Catamounts have won seven in a row after that sort of stunning home opening loss in conference play to Stony Brook. Uh, Anthony had 33 in their win over Albany. You got Maine coming up, then you got a road trip down to Hartford. Uh, Anthony, let's first deal with the streak. What has been the biggest difference since that Stony Brook loss? Um, our level of intensity has just picked up a lot since that game. Uh, I know personally how how much each conference game, how much each conference game means, and we would hate to have to play in say Stony Brook in the championship game. Like that'd be a horrible. We like we want to hear Patrick. We're working really hard to keep here in Patrick, and that's really what our focus has been is winning all the rest of the games. So we're not leaving to anybody else's hands but ours. You know, it's interesting you say that because the America East is unique in that, mm -hmm. where every regular season game really does matter because the seedings. Uh, reflect that and where the conference tournament games will end up being played uh being in a conference like that what's it like to know that there's so much emphasis on every game mattering yeah um our coaches put a lot of work in uh every every day you see them watching film talking to us asking asking our opinions seeing what's going on and it really shows how much they how much focus and our wins are really really a reflection of that and how hard we work and every game really does matter so we really take every game seriously and we know every team's going to give us their best shot and i think it honestly makes the level of competition increase knowing that this game could literally mean the end of your season basically if you play in a in a tough road environment is is way harder to win on the road so every time we go into anybody's gym we don't take anybody lightly and we're playing at 100 percent. well i know we still got a month before that but you guys have hosted and lost umbc and and won uh, so, I mean, there is pressure both ways. How, how true is that? Um, it's very true. Uh, that Yeah, the UMBC game is a tough one to, to think about. But, uh, Sorry to bring that up. No, nah, nah, you're good. <laughs> nah, but it's, it's always way better to play Patrick than it is anywhere else. Just the, the way your fans support you, just being able to, to travel, not having to go anywhere, just being able to stay, sleep in your own bed and, and wake up and just get ready for the game, especially with the 11 a.m. game. It, it's immensely different playing at home versus playing away. All right, so down this stretch here, uh, you obviously are, uh, not that you weren't, but you're playing clearly at a high level uh, consistently, as I said, getting over 30 in this last game at Albany. Uh, how are you feeling right now in terms of being in an offensive groove, a rhythm to where you're just, you know, everything's just sort of flowing right through you? Um, mostly I'm... I'm really just a lot of the year I've been playing and trying to take what the defense is giving me. And a big the big thing for me is based on the past years, I know that it's important that my teammates play at a high level. So the more that they can build confidence, and I think everybody's in a good spot right now where they, they're believing in themselves and can go out and believe that they can score on anybody. So now that that's set, I can sort of establish myself more and, and get myself back to where I know I can be and know that I'm already good at. So. Like, having that in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, now my teammates are set. Now I can go out there. All I got to do is just focus on the game plan and just go try to get my flow back. So by the time we get to playoffs, I can be where I need to be as the best player in the league. Why do you love playing in the post? Um, I've been I've been taught it my whole life. Uh, if you think about it, the, you want to get as close to the basket as possible. So any chance you can catch it close to the rim, that makes it makes the game easier. So the simpler, simpler it is to get the ball in the bucket, the, the better it is for me. You know, one, one last thing that's interesting. You guys sort of popped up on the radar. You had a lot of preseason hype. And then the Virginia game. Uh, and then, you know, the America East obviously does not get as much national pub. And then when the tournament comes out, everyone's like, ooh, you know, if you guys are in there, hey, that's a team to watch. What's it like to sort of come out from the, sort of the, the woods, if you will, uh, when it when if you get there when the tournament starts and people almost forget about how good you guys are how good you are yeah uh i don't know if people i don't think people take this for granted anymore because we've been there a couple times but um it's definitely a different feeling coming from being at being at the one of the better teams in america east versus nobody really like expecting anything from us so just the atmosphere around the game and just how people treat you is a lot differently when you go to NCAA tournament versus America East Championship. So that's something that I have, I'm still conscious of, and I've, I've sort of been familiar with that now. Now it's something that we could work on and work on our mindsets when we get to that time. Hopefully, we get to that time. Hey, one last thing about this league, Anthony, um, because no one knows it probably better than you because you've been in it for so long. Uh, the depth seems better. The talent seems to have risen. What's your assessment of where the America East is right now? 
Uh, it's honestly really on the rise. Every game, like you can tell, every game, some more games haven't been close, but I can tell the level of competition is increasing. And it's it's going slowly, but it's, it's, it's honestly it's way more fun, I would say, now playing than versus when I started. And I don't know if I've been better too, but I, I think the way we've been playing and the, what the competition is, everybody else has to raise their game too. And I think that's what they've been doing. So I think in the next couple of years, it's going to continue to, to go up and hopefully it's one of the better leagues in the distant future. Appreciate it, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Andy.